Hey, what's going on guys? JD here and today I'm back to a new video. As we're fastly approaching the end of 2018 and going into 2019, I've decided that this video's topic is now essential to the Need for Speed series, seeing that the 25th anniversary of this series is fast approaching. The topic in this video is going to be my opinion of four essential actions that need to happen for the Need for Speed series from 2019 and beyond. My first opinion is that we need a dedicated community team that answers questions, produces live streams, acknowledges the game's issues as well as producing polls and games game tests for players to try the game out as well as updates before they come out. Ben Walkie is the community manager for Need for Speed as well as Star Wars and it's not easy for one man to deal with two massive communities. This point is going to speak for both series and conclude my point. So by having two community teams that are dedicated to the fans it will be easier for feedback to be acknowledged as well as dealing with issues and suggesting new ideas for the future. My next point is that there needs to be an actual sense of direction in the development team that reflects and shows in the final product. With Marcus Nilsson leaving Ghost Games recently, a lot of fans including myself are extremely worried about what the next game is going to be like for the 25th anniversary of the series. With Need for Speed Rivals and Need for Speed 2015, the fans have seen concept art and the actual original concept ideas are true to the final product of the game. But with Need for Speed Payback, the problem with that game is that there were so many concept arts that were changed throughout development and we've got a mess of a game. So my suggestion to Ghost with this point is to actually stick with one idea throughout the whole development cycle and you need to do this for every game going forward and not make a mistake let Need for Speed Payback happen ever again. My third point is that the development team is for Need for Speed it needs to fully utilise the Speed Hunters license to its full potential as well as sticking with car culture for future games which is actually the true core of Need for Speed and the reason why the series happens. My fourth and final point is that marketing needs to be true to the final product. I'm looking at you Need for Speed Payback. With Need for Speed Payback we had trailers and gameplay that was misleading and what I mean by this is that in the final product half the events that were shown in both the gameplays as well as the trailers were not in the final product. By these actions, what actually happened is that most of the community, including myself, were asking questions to what actually happened to the development of this game after we saw a lot of stuff was changed during development and why were we sold misleading information. To conclude my point, what I'm trying to say is that marketing needs to be reflecting to the final product, similar to how marketing was done very well from Infopea 2015. Ladies and gentlemen, I really do apologise for not putting up videos more on a regular basis. I've been dealing with work, I've been dealing with college and I've been dealing with my personal life as well so it's not been easy to juggle all three at once and I really do apologise for that. What I do want to do going forward for next year is that I do actually want to put a schedule out for you guys and hopefully let you guys know when videos are coming out roughly as soon as they are being worked on so I will actually try and promote that more out there to you guys. So that's going to be it from me guys. Let me know what actions you think need to happen for the Need for Speed series going forward from 2019 and beyond. Thank you guys very much for watching, take care and peace.